Welcome back to another Fox Body video. Finally going to be trying, and I mean trying for sure, um, to be welding in the new intercooler that's a two to one and not a pretty much two and two. So there's four ports there, three ports there. It's going to be kind of interesting for me to be actually welding my first, you know, intercooler set uh, with the titanium, titanium unlimited 200 with the spool gun, of course, because let's see only way you can weld with this one so pretty much the plan is to take this and pretty much turn it so it's angled that way and then run this the pipe all the way straight down and that's pretty much as easy as it's gonna get and then everything else can just stay in place because that pretty much the other two are gonna sit there I just need to make this turn and then get the blow-off valves uh, matched up I don't know if I need one or two of the blow-off valves still I have two right now because it's a twin turbo setup and I think I need two. I don't know if I need two. If I need one, I need one. I don't know. So there's a couple things I want to do. Let's go ahead and pretty much get this whole front end off. It's super easy, by the way, to get off. It's super nice. Uh, let's get the front end off and pretty much let's see what we're working with. You guys see how much water's in here? Golly, no wonder this thing would just pretty much steam up. I guess I gotta do some resealing. God, look, look at all that. Came out of one end like the other one's not doing it, so I gotta do some resealing. And just like that, ooh, the whole front bumper comes off. Look at that. Look, look at that. I really want to get the Cobra front bumper as well, so I can at least have the bumper back and like not have this huge gap you know, thing here that just looks so awful. And see, look, look at that thing. It's so crooked, it's ridiculous, guys. What was I thinking? Okay, well, since I'm here, I can actually adjust stuff, mock stuff up. This should be so much easier to work with, and I'm actually excited about that. So I went ahead and put the jack underneath to actually lift it up, and the radiator sits so much higher. It's actually quite nice. It's still not as even as I want. But that's super simple. All I gotta do is move the jack over and then jack it up. And then that way, that would sit in the correct place I want it to. And now I just need to figure out how I wanna run the intercooler piping. My only problem, I don't know how much intercooler pipe I have, like the actual aluminum. I do have stainless steel, but I don't have stainless steel gas, which is 75% helium, 7.5% argon, and 2.5. Carbon monoxide, don't quote me on that. That's what I think it is. So I don't know what I want to do there, um, but I don't think I need to run this side. I think, yeah, the other side is, I think, aluminum. Um, I'm hoping, if not, I'll find out real quick. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take off both tops, uh, intercooler piping on both sides, and then take that out. Well, after taking all this out, uh, it opens up a good amount of room to pretty much weld down and so that's all still connected I'll leave that all alone make sure that's good hopefully maybe not I don't know just yet but here is all the stuff I got to keep um, a good amount of clamps and I got oh we got three pipes of aluminum we got the two blow off valves I don't know what to do with those still I might just have to pretty much cut here and put it on the other side maybe I don't know and then that one's the one stainless steel that is one full piece and then a couple couplers. I got something to work with. It's not a whole lot and I hope it all works. So I guess let's get started. Peep the new jacket for one. Look, it's never, yeah, I'm fancy, right? What I'm gonna do is actually with this blow off valve that I actually used on the vehicle. So I have two of these. I'm actually only gonna convert it to a one. I don't think I need to run another one. I went ahead and bought a, uh, another blow off valve that's like a teal, like a tile version of it. So it's not like your typical blow off valve that you see like in Fast and the Furious where it goes, -doo 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 -doo. you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these. Uh, but you kind of still use the same pipe. What I was thinking about is just using this one if I don't have enough piping to actually make this whole thing work. But like I said, it's all mocking. It's if I have to use this, I'm gonna go ahead and use this for now. Maybe it'll hold all the boost. Maybe. All right, so I got that mounted. I think exactly where I want it. Kind of, sort of, like just like that. And this pipe. Could do something. 
I don't know where I want to run this whole pipe setup. What I kind of want to do is lug this 90. Let me show you that. I wanted to. Well, there's 90 on there. Yep, I wanted to. Uh, um. Now what do I do? I also went ahead and got some LED lights, okay, to really brighten up my future and so I can see when I'm gapping, you know, Camaros and other Mustangs and stuff like that, okay? You know, Porsches, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, just, you know, slow stuff. Alrighty, what well, looks brighter? Oh, those look super dim. That looks super bright. Yeah, that's super bright. Yeah, as you can tell, this one's a lot brighter. All right, I'm pretty much gonna be reusing the the mounts here, but I'll be drilling through this, putting a bolt and a nut, making sure it's all good, and I just gotta cut there, and then cut the other one here, and then that should hold the hold the radiator in place for now, because Zach does not like this idea at all. But no, it's a good idea. I think you should just attach it to the bottom as well. The bottom. Nah, we don't need one of those. All right, and then everything else is good. I might build something for this uh, upper radiator hose, and maybe like weld the 90 straight up here, so the the hose sits on top and not kind of rubbing on the in or the the turbo itself. It may rub through. I'll find out later on. So Zach had the smart idea to try to move this radiator forward a little bit. So what we're gonna do is start cutting this stuff out right here at the top and try to move it forward as far as we can. That way we have plenty of room when we start building the center cooler straight down here and then looping around. Or I can flip this around and try to go the other way. Um, so we're gonna do both sides and see which area actually fits better. Well, I went ahead and cut it and bent it out of the way. And now this thing is completely flat with the whole front end. Good job, Zach, that was a good idea. Finally, it's coming together right. So now, all we gotta do is make this bracket, which I hope we can cut the rest of the stuff with, uh, because the air compressor is not hooked up. And I changed the, the plug on the on the wall for 220 for the welder, and now the, the compressor, you know, doesn't really work because the wrong connector and blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and I hope to God I can just make everything work. Dummy. So I went ahead and got these bolted up here, and here, or here. And then I gotta somehow fix this just a little bit because this thing is gonna drive me nuts how it's sitting. And this will have to actually scoot over that way just like say two inches because it's not lined up with the intake like I want it. So all it's gotta do is scoot over just a wee bit, just like that. But I have it sitting here. I pretty much got this mocked up here. So this is literally gonna be perfectly sitting here with the um, adapter. And then that's going to sit right there, if you guys can see I'm moving. And then that's going to go from here straight down to there. And I got this stainless steel that I'm going to use for mock-ups. I'm going to cut this and get this all plumbed like it should. Pretty much that is how it's going to be. It might be, yeah, it might be still too long, obviously, like I was saying. This is, this is just mock-up. I kind of want to see if I can go through this hole right here, but the angle, I, I'd have to take this off, which is fine. It's just, that would have to be a straight 90 here just to make that work into that hole. Or I can just loop it around, because like right now, that's pretty much right there. Perfect, sitting where it should. I just need to get a smaller one of these connectors or just having a welding big huge you know like roll on it just to make that work but pretty much i just need an adapter there and an adapter there and that way that'll be done well it's not done yet i still need to do a couple things but that's pretty much what the intercooler is going to look like if i kept this front bumper but i pretty much have to put this all back together um because hey i can't figure out why i won't start um and i, I haven't rewired the car i've just been lazy i'm sorry um, but I actually have a Hummer coming and that I gotta work on first. So you guys might see some Hummer content. I think you guys might like this Hummer. It's pretty big and I pretty much still gotta 
get all this stuff off the ground and cleaned up but man that thing is just looking pretty uh pretty ugly if i do say it myself it's still crooked i still haven't mounted it guys but uh, but yeah that's what she's looking like right now so let's get the garage cleaned up and let's show you guys this hummer oh god oh god Let's see it. Let's see. Come on. Ah, oh, they were. Ah, oh, they were chilling. Holy shit. That thing. You're. You got like a foot, man. Yeah, you're good. Holy. Holy crap! This car, this interior add-on. So this is a one-on-one. One-on-one one only, huh? This is a one-on-one. One. They usually make a 2006 H1 Alpha package, which is this is what this is. But this is a, a 2007 technically because they were test running it. But Dude, this GM, is like GM and stuff went bankrupt during that time. So this is a one of one special edition. Really? Yes. Nobody else has this, huh? It's been titled. It's literally the only one made. This, and it's only been this thing is so big! Like, <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! I told you it was Can I sit in it? Can I sit in this? Go for it. <laughs> so, it should. It has a full carbon uh, interior. Um, that's like a twenty thousand dollar add-on, but it. The it carbon? Be, yeah, the car. It's all full carbon. Jeez. It like guys, I right now. I can't even reach over to the passenger. <laughs> oh my god! This thing is ridiculous. Told you it was massive. Dude, this thing is huge. And heated seats and everything. These are heated seats? Oh boy. <laughs> Got a speaker chilling. Oh my, dude. Oh god, the, the drop. Man. Put the springs on it so it's a little bit higher than usual. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, this. <laughs> god. Yeah, I told you it was a big, big. Bro. Yeah, you were not joking about this thing. It's Holy. Yeah, just a wee bit. And you said how much was this? Oh, he bought it for 122. He's he's thinking he should be able to um, sell it for around 175 after we're all done with this. <laughs> Sorry, I can't breathe that. Really, really, really nice. This one's got a lot of miles on the body. Yeah. Um, the oh phone. man, look at that. Look at all that. The really really nice ones that got like 5,000 miles, they go for like 300k. 300k? Yep. God, this, like you can't even see the whole truck <laughs> in the frame. Oh my. I want to make this the thumbnail, but man, I can't fit it. <laughs> Did you hear me coming? Yes, that's why I pulled out the camera. <laughs> man. It's pretty quick for what it is. He hasn't tuned it yet, but he's going to. We're, we're going to have to take a ride on this thing when we're done. Oh, well, if you guys like this video, drop a thumbs up, subscribe <laughs> if you guys are not. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.